Breakfast at the hotel was amazing. I forgot how good the breakfasts are here. Hubby and I were chatting about it and I think it is worth it to do the hotel breakfast once or twice during the trip. There's just such a variety. We finally had some sashimi. I also finally had some fresh fruit and vegetables, something that's been seriously lacking in my diet during this trip. You guys have seen I've been eating tons of processed food, tons of noodles and rice, all delicious stuff, but I do need a few vegetables in me and today I am starting to feel a bit on the full side. I've been hungry throughout this entire trip. Maybe it was the takoyaki because I find takoyaki is very heavy. It's just very, um, it's all batter essentially, batter and sauce. So I was feeling it a bit this morning and I probably overdid it at breakfast, but um, I'm feeling rather full and bloated. The moderation has definitely flown out the window during this trip i've just been eating whatever and whenever i feel like it but it's all good once we get back to toronto i'll get back into my regular routine of mostly healthy eating i went to daiso and i picked up a beauty sponge i tried it this morning because i wanted to see if um i liked it i wouldn't mind stocking up on a few beauty sponges if i like them so this one is quite nice it's not as squishy as the beauty blender but it is still rather soft it got huge after i wet it it was probably i don't know it's probably like much smaller than this but i used it today to apply bb cream and I have been using BB cream here every day because of all of the breakouts. I do really like it and the plus side of this is that it's only 100 yen. So about maybe like $1.25 Canadian or something along those lines. So I think I will stock up on these. Maybe I'll buy like two or three more of them. I know I'm only supposed to buy six months worth this year, but seeing as how we only come to Japan every so often, I'd like to stock up a little bit more just on a few things. And this is going to be one of the things where I stock up on like essentially a two year supply. The other thing I've done with the two year supply is the mascara. The mascara I'm wearing now is by Hero and Make and I love this mascara, it's so good. It holds a curl in my lashes all day. It is rather difficult to remove, but with my cleansing oil, which I have at home, it's fine. The other thing I want to talk about is my acne. Hubby saw that I was feeling really self-conscious about it. He started looking into kind of like things you could buy in Japan to help with that. And he found this product. So this is called um, the Chocola BB Pure. They also have one called the BB Plus. And after he told me about it, I looked into it. And apparently the Japanese swear by this for helping with breakouts. So the BB Plus is um, for skin and fatigue. It's essentially B vitamins, a mixture of B vitamins. So the BB Plus is kind of like more of a daily supplement. It's like two functions. And the BB Pure is what the Japanese use when they have a sudden outbreak of acne. So I decided to buy a small bottle to try after taking this for, I think I've taken it for like four days now. It seems a bit better. I do still have one breakout that is um, pretty bad. I've covered it up so maybe you can't see it that well. And also this camera I think has like a blur function because my skin looks a lot better on this camera than in real life. But um, I have a spot here that's a bit tricky right now, but I have no new breakouts on my neck, which is amazing. None on my jawline. You can see all the scars and stuff, but no new active breakouts. And all of this patch here that was really bad, that was the day I wore the mask. All of this is healing up really nicely. I don't know if it's this. Maybe it's just normal hormonal fluctuations. Sometimes I do have better skin than other days, but this could be helping.
such a good tour. If you guys are in the Osaka area or anywhere near one of the Asahi breweries, I highly recommend it. It is a free tour. The tour is mainly in Japanese. They do have English tours, but I think they offer them very sporadically. So the tour that we went on is in Japanese, but um, you can download an app and just bring your earphones and listen to the English um, audio guide. We got to see um, some of the production facilities, the bottling and all of that. We got to touch and smell hops and barley. And then we had a really nice tasting in the area behind me. The tasting is quite generous. We got three very large samples. I don't think they were quite half pints, maybe a half pint. If you don't drink beer, they do have soft drinks and non-alcoholic beverages that you can have instead. But um, we had the three beer samples. And they were very good. They serve them very cold, but you only have 20 minutes to drink all three. And it was a little bit of like, we had to down it at the end. And it was so cold, it was very hard to down. And then I was like burping up a storm after. But we are going to check out the gift shop now. I really want to get um, some postcards. I saw that they have these vintage postcards and that's kind of my thing. I love like vintage art and vintage style postcards and maybe we'll purchase a mug or something like that. My no buy has pretty much gone out the window on this trip. I have still been careful but I've bought a lot that I don't necessarily need and they're not like replacements of staple items. I am still trying to exercise judgments and think about what I'm purchasing but I have I've been um, buying a little more than I thought I would. Hey everyone, we are in Kobe now. We are going to go for our Kobe beef dinner. This is going to be our splurge dinner for this trip. We're very excited. done with dinner and that was so 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 good we went to Moria Lin which is actually the same overall brand of restaurants that we went to when we came to Kobe 10 years ago same overall banner of restaurants and I'm so glad we went back it was amazing the service was awesome the food was delicious and it was just a really really nice and special experience so we are very very happy good morning everyone it is December 3rd today and it is our last full day in Osaka we're gonna be heading out tomorrow very very early in the morning so we're going to just spend today having a few last bites to eat we're finally going for sushi and there are also a few last minute things we want to pick up in terms of shopping goodies and of course we have to pack I mentioned yesterday that we did buy a little more than we anticipated so it's going to be a bit of a puzzle to figure out um, where to put what we did buy a little bit of alcohol so we'll need to bring that back in our checked baggage we don't have a choice in the matter otherwise I would just try to bring it all carry on we're not having any food at the hotel today because we're going straight for sushi for breakfast. This is our favorite sushi place in Osaka. It's actually pretty much the only one we go to besides conveyor belt sushi. It's called Endo Sushi and I think the popularity has grown over the years because word has gotten out about how good the sushi is for the price. The quality is really good and they have the best uni which is sea urchin. I've had it in other places like conveyor belt sushi and I don't recommend that but at endo it's always very fresh and very delicious the only thing i'm having this morning before we head out is this kieran milk tea this is my favorite one kieran makes a whole bunch of them this is the relax one We've also tried the candy one, not on this trip, but on other trips, and it was way too sweet for me. Hubby got one called um, the Meister's Tea or something like that, but that one I find is a little bit too watery and bland. This one has a really nice balance of sweetness and floral notes, and it's just quite delicious. So this is my favorite one of the moment. I'm sure they make other ones, but um, I don't remember trying them. The flavored milk teas are also really good. I had a peach one that was excellent. 
Speaking of packing, I am so happy with the things that I brought on this trip. I've worn everything as of today. This is um, the last top that I haven't worn yet. It's thin heat tech, but it's relatively warm and today's supposed to be a decent day out. So I'm very, very happy with the amount of stuff I brought as well as the contents. I've also been loving this lippy combination, which I'm about to show you guys. My makeup look has been the same throughout this entire trip and I'm really liking everything about it. I've been trying to draw my eyebrows a little bit straighter but still following kind of like the natural curve of um, my brow and I've been liking it. Um, the eye makeup look is very pink and peachy and purpley. My blush is very peachy. I've been wearing the BB cream from Atomy and this Libby combination I've been loving. So what I've been doing is just putting a bit of this Etude House lipstick just right in the center of my lip so it's quite a bright pink so I just put a little dab of it because I don't want too bright of a color. This is in the shade RD304 and then on top of that I've been putting on my color changing lip balm from IT Cosmetics. I am nearly nearly done. I think I'll be done uh, this trip or by the time I get back to Toronto. It'll definitely be in my Instagram empties and then on top of that I've been layering on this little lip gloss type thing. It's the Artist Plexi Gloss in shade 202 by Makeup Forever. And this is a beautiful peachy milky gloss that I just put like a little bit on top. So this is the lippy combination I've been loving for this trip. We're gonna finish getting ready and then head out for sushi. We are back at our favorite sushi place. There isn't much of a line. There's three people in front of us so not too bad. Endo sushi was so good. It was so 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 good. Oh my gosh that place has ruined sushi for me everywhere else because it's so delicious. The fatty tuna and the salmon and the sea urchin are just mm, so good. Even the um, eel, the anago, they do something to it that just makes it melt in your mouth. It's very very tasty. We're very satisfied now. I was only planning to get one plate, but since we're rarely here and we're not gonna be coming back, I went ahead and got two plates. I am pretty full now, super satisfied. The prices have gone up quite a bit. It used to be a thousand yen per plate and um, there wasn't tax on top that I could remember and the miso soup was included, but now it's 1200 a plate plus tax and the miso soup is 300 yen. Still highly worth it though. We paid around 6,000 yen for that meal, but the quality of the sushi is just so good. It's um, definitely worth it. <laughs> so now we are going to head back to Osaka Station and do a little shopping and then head back to the hotel and try to get our packing done. I think the oh, color is off. The color temperature. It's pretty good though. Yeah. This, you don't get any funny shadows. Mm -hmm. How much is that? 200 too? I think so. Hey everyone, we are in a store called Three Coins. It's a 300 yen store, and I am testing out a selfie. What is it called? Ring light? Mm -hmm. yeah. Selfie ring light. So here it is with the ring light off. This is it on the lowest setting. Brighter. And the brightest setting. This is what it looks like. Can you see that? Wait, there it is. <laughs> now we're gonna be sharing the Lawson egg sandwich. We only went to Lawson once during this trip. Hubby and I just ate two of these little guys and they are delicious. Not too sure what they are, but they're very, very good. We are all done with lunch and now I have the fun task of packing. We had a bit of space coming here. Neither of our bags were super jam packed. So I think there is enough room. Hubby actually thrifted a duffel bag that he really wanted while we were here. It's by Porter, which is a Japanese brand that he loves. So we have um, one extra bag, but I probably bought enough at the thrift shop to fill that bag. I've got a bit of a task. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out 
of all of our bags. I've asked hubby what he wants in his backpack. And then I'm going to try to reorganize everything and get everything packed away. Hall. Hubby and I decided to do kombini for dinner tonight, our last dinner in Osaka, because we just love it. And there were a few things that we still wanted to try from the kombini that we didn't get a chance to yet. So these here are yakitori. We have um, two of the chicken thigh with soy sauce and two of the chicken thigh with salt. These are fried chicken. Both of these are for hubby. One is the regular fried chicken and the other is the spicy one. This I have always wanted to try. The kombinis have this in the winter time it's basically a broth with all of these different um, components in it and they just charge you by the piece so I got a piece of daikon radish I have a tofu here and then this is like a tofu pocket with mochi inside I'm very excited about that we got a couple of hot drinks for tonight I love this one here it's honey with I guess it's like yuzu and then this one is for hubby. For tonight, I got the Mio sparkling sake for myself. This is the dry version. Hubby still has a beer that he has to finish up. And then for tomorrow morning, I got this, which is the um, Kirin peach milk tea, which I love. It's so, so good. We also got a few pastry bits. Hubby got this. It's curry with, was it egg? Egg? Yeah curry with egg in this like bun i love this one this has like melon or like cantaloupe flavored cream inside i also got this egg steamed bread to try i really loved the one from i think it was 7-eleven so i decided to try this one as well because we didn't go to the 7-eleven today so that is going to be our little dinner and our last um kombini meal of this trip here's what the soy sauce yakitori looks like and osaka is known for its yakitori i'm sure sure most people don't get it at the kombini but uh it looks delicious and apparently family mart has um really good hot food and then this one here is the chicken thigh with salt i had a bite of each of these things and so good i wish i had discovered this earlier because i love tofu i love broth and i've been lacking vegetables so the daikon radish is actually so delicious I can't wait to get back home and get back on healthy eating. Here is what hubby's fried chicken looks like. I think this might be the spicy one because it's a little more red, but um, it's such a cute little package that you open in the middle. Here is hubby's second piece of fried chicken. I think this is the non-spicy one, although he said the last one wasn't spicy at all really. December the 4th. 
We are back in Toronto. I am so exhausted. It was another over 24 hour transit time if you count um, from the time we woke up and left the hotel. It was a short flight to Tokyo, a short layover in Tokyo, then a long flight to Chicago, a very long layover in Chicago. We were there probably four to five hours and then a very short flight back to Toronto and now we are just driving back to the condo. We had a wonderful time as we are going to head home, shower, do laundry, pick up Truffle and Lulu, try to get back to routine as quickly as possible. But yeah, we had a really nice time and I will vlog a bit later when I'm a little more awake. Hey everyone, we're heading to pick up Truffle and Lulu. It is nighttime now. I had a pretty nice nap. I napped for about three hours. I'm using the selfie ring that I got in Japan and it's really, really bright. I chose the brightest one so I shouldn't be surprised. It felt so good to have a shower and I started taking stuff um, out of our bags and unpacking and putting stuff away. I also started doing the many loads of laundry that we have to do every time we come back from vacation. We're gonna pick up the fur babies and then I will check back in. We're still in the process of cleaning up, doing laundry and putting stuff away, but these are some of our empty bags that we're gonna be bringing to the locker. Lulu usually stands in this spot to beg hubby for food and we thought she'd be foiled because there are bags there, but she decided just to hop on top Use them as a stepping stool to get even closer to hubby so she can beg for food and now she's whining because she knows I'm talking about her and we're making fun of her. Lulu, you're not supposed to be there I don't think. I think you're supposed to go to bag. I don't think you're supposed to be there Lulu. Lulu, go to bag, go on. Truffle's been such a sucky baby lately. He was like this even before we left for Japan. He's just been really, really close to me. He always wants to be lying right beside me, or in this case, on top of my legs. He's um, resting his chin on my ankles right now. So sweet. And he's asleep. Now that he's older, he's... Um, more inclined to show affection and he's very attached to us he's always following us around now and wanting to have lots of pets and lots of attention such a good boy